Nissan in game live, Ron Jaworski, Michael Barkan, and you know, Chris Collinsworth, uh, toward the end of the first half, 24 6 in favor of the Cowboys' jaws. Chris Collinsworth said the Eagles should win their last four games. I mean, come on, the Eagle, I'm not counting on it. I know they still got a half to go in this one, jaws, and we go one game at a time, but this team is terrible right now and that goes back to san francisco i don't know what happened the last two weeks but if they win this game i would be stunned down 24 to 6 at dallas the offense isn't scoring touchdowns no no end zone for the offense and the defense now nine of the last 10 drives and i'm not counting the 11th was a kneel down by san francisco nine of the last 10 have been touchdowns allowed by the Eagles defense. The 10th was a field goal. Yeah, Michael, that really distills it right there. Think about this. Think about what you just said. The last 10 times this Eagle defense has walked onto the field to start a series, they've given up nine touchdowns and one field goal. That's horrific defense. I, I you know, Okay, what's the worst you could possibly do? 10 touchdowns? We've given up nine. That's horrible defense. What what? would give us confidence that this team could come back from this 24 to 6 deficit. Now we've been doing it all all year long. Having a horrible first half. We've been doing the show all year long and we bounced back against Buffalo, bounced back against Kansas City. Dallas looks really good. They look like San Francisco did a week ago. They're they're, they're making us look silly at times. Our defense. Now and to compound that problem, it looks like Blankenship's going to be out. Uh you know, it, 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 yeah. Tony Hamlin's on the sideline. Um we're now we're getting short on players. We're not getting you know, we talked on the pregame show. I felt the key to the game was being pass rush pressure from our down linemen. Yeah. Not bringing pressure because our secondary can't hold up when they're getting single coverage. They haven't showed up either. So it's just been a very frustrating happen. It's, it's you know, to me, when, it, when Dallas leads us 24 to 6, it, it, it hurts. They're looking at 500 yards of offense allowed, the Eagles' defense. 247 given up in the first half. You look at what they did to Dak Prescott. Prescott has 157 yards. He's going over 300. He's passed for two touchdowns, passer rating of 110. And then you look at Jalen Hurts, 7 of 12 for 92 yards. He's been sacked once, so is Prescott, and his passer rating is 82.6. But they can't get out of their own way. And I got to call out. Devontae Smith, in my opinion, two drops, and and A.J. Brown, a crucial drop, which will have the Eagles settling for a field goal when maybe they might have gone into the end zone. Yeah, I mean, it was a terrific throw from Jalen Hurts up the right sideline. You know, you, you know, A.J. adjusted the ball nicely, but went right through his hands. In fact, our big play, our big play in the first half was a fake punt. Oh! Zacchaeus said, you know, 28-yard reception. I mean, it, it just – you look at where are we? What are we time possession? Time possession. We can't stop the run. We can't stop the pass. We can't get pressure on, uh, you know, on the quarterback. It, it just it's, it was an awful first half. Uh, I'm 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 almost speechless. You know, we we had heard from our our pregame show mm-hmm. that John Clark had had conversation with Nick that oh you're going to see the running game. Well, he must it must be somewhere else because I'm not seeing it in. You know, coming in the Dow- out of Texas Stadium tonight, it's just been a it's been a beat down in the first half. Yeah, uh, eight rushes from the running back position in the first half. They had twelve total, including Jalen Hurts, sixty three yards total, which is five point three yards per carry. But twenty eight of it was Jalen Hurts carrying the football. When you look at this, all of the statistics from the first half, you look at the Cowboys on third down. Uh, six out of eight on third down. But see, that's seventy five percent of my of my youngest yeah. say math is correct. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it, it is, and it's it's stunning. But the big thing to me is, even if they figure out the offensive part of this, the defense is not getting any better. Shaq Leonard and Zach Cunningham are in there now at the linebacker positions. The defense doesn't look. They're not tackling. They're not the yeah. the first wave. The first level that we always talk about defensive line and the linebackers, they are not tackling the guys and they're just letting them get first downs down the field. I also felt Dallas came out and they wanted to impose their will. You know, they came out and they hammered the running game. They were running piled up inside and they, mm-hmm. they were running quarterback sneaks were going for five yards when, you know, we had Prescott take it up the middle and they physically handled our defensive line, which as we always talk about, you know, and I love Howie for this. He builds his team on those tough guys in the trenches, you know, those 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 big eaters down there. 
and it's been it's treated us very well over over the number of years how he's been in charge. But this defensive line is getting pushed around. Yeah, it's there, getting pushed around. There was a look on Nick Sirianni's face. They cut away to him. I'm sure you saw it. With mm-hmm. I, I don't know, it was a minute ago, thirty. I don't know what it was, but he looked. He was looking up, and he he just seemed to be in a stupor. Like I I can't believe what I'm seeing. I don't even know what to do here. Yeah. That's if a picture could tell a thousand words paints a thousand words it looked like that i don't know what do they do for the second half do they have the wherewithal from a coaching standpoint and a player standpoint to come back from 24 to 6 down well i i'd like to say yeah i'm definitely positive they're going to get this thing going and turn around but but i can't you know there's there's no way anyone can say oh yeah wait we're down 24 6 although we're getting beaten in this first half we're going to come back in the second half and win this game and and, and you know we we talked about it in the pregame show about you know uh Getting hit in the mouth. And we got hit in the mouth last week. Yeah. And all the bravo, the bravado all week was we're, we're ready. You know, we're coming. Mike Tyson, you know, everyone's got a plan, you know, the plan to get to the playoffs, plan to get to the Super Bowl. But what do you do when you get hit in the mouth? What happens to that plan? And, and we talked about where I, I felt this is going to be a good litmus test for this team. What's in our heart? What's in our belly? You know, what's in our mind? It's not going to be the X's and O's and the coaches putting in a position. When you get embarrassed like we were last week, you come out and you, and you claw, you, 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 you do whatever you got to do to find find a way. We can't find our way out of, out of anything right now. Yeah, I mean, not there's not a part of this team right now that you could say, okay, here's where I can hang my hat. It's, 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 it's total disarray at this point for this football team. You know, if they win tonight, they would clinch a playoff spot. And I have no doubt that even failing a win tonight, they're going to clinch a playoff spot and then some. But I don't know what their future is. We thought it was so bright. We thought this team was going back to the Super Bowl. And again, I'm with you on the one game at a time thing. I think it's important, especially for coaches and players, to focus on what's right ahead. But for us two, I'm looking down the line a little bit, and I'm seeing – you know, you can't handle either San Francisco or Dallas, which are the oh, no, by the way, by the way, Michael, Seattle, Seattle's on Seattle. Yeah, yeah, they on never the win at Seattle yeah. either, right. and that game was was flexed to a Monday night. Right. I, I wonder if they're sorry right. that they did that, and 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 who knows? Maybe they'll figure it out in the second half. They do get the ball to start the second half, but but I'll tell you what, the only thing I can hope for, Jaws, we they say in baseball. You know, pitchers go through like a dead arm period and it's inexplicable and their performance falls off. I hope it's just a dead arm period for this team <laughs> and they come back. But I'm not counting on that. We're going to need a secret potion coming out pretty soon. That's he, right. He, Only he, Ron Jaworski uh, can deliver yeah, it, no. too. I can't do anything anymore. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? The Eagles are struggling themselves, my friend. Yep. Here's the deal. Barrett Brooks has got you after the third quarter with his impressions of the game. Maybe the Eagles can get in the end zone, don't you think? And then when the clock hits zero, Ron, Barrett, Reuben Frank, John Clark, everybody from yeah. Dallas will hear all the interviews from Nick Sirianni, Jalen Hurts, et al. Coming your way on Eagles Post Game Live on NBC Sports Philadelphia. We'll see you then. Go Birds.